We're here doing some Rogue Trader. Um, we're outside Kivanagama, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, land, do some work on this quest. Uh, going to the Manufactorum of Kivagana. So, right now we need to figure out who we want to take. We have to take Heinrichs, even though he's like kept reminding me to take him. And apparently, he's apparently I don't I can't forget to take him because he's stuck in the group, which is fine. I was gonna take him anyway. But who do we want to leave behind? Um, so we're going to Manufactorium. I think I want to take Pascal. So let's leave your your at home, even though she's pretty decent. But but Pascal's pretty decent too. I mean. You know, so let's 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 see what happens. Um, so let's get in here. We need to level high ranks too when we get in. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we get in here, we'll level high ranks. I think I've gotten him kind of build a little wrong too. I've got him as arch militant. I don't know that that's really a good fit for him, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty good. That was a pretty good, pretty good run into that. Heinrich frowns and sights you for the Manifest Tour of Darkhawks. No solemn ceremony. No personal meetings with the Magi. Bag, I, I fear we're too late, and I won't be dealing with the clandestine heretics after all. In Harik, areas of alarm stream out of Pascal's box and Sander. In their neurotic, broken rhythm, you sense call to arms and a warning for danger. Remind me. I assume I could conduct an investigation and track down traces of the cult of the final dawn. I believe I can I can discard that plan now. Both the incident with the scrap code and the manner in which we were forced to land on Kiabagama indicate that the situation has taken a turn for the worst. Nonetheless, I must make use of this opportunity to try to determine the cult was actually doing on the industrial world and what specifically interested them on a planet full of sacred machines and servants of the Amasaya. First, we must find someone who can tell us what's going to hear. Heinrich's pauses, straining to hear something. As if that is, there's anyone left to speak to. To start, let's look around and find out why the arrival of the rogue trader did not elicit usual fuss. To speak plainly, I would not count on a warm welcome. Uh, welcome is right. There, keep your weapon at ready. The interrogator nods, continuing to stare at the shredding gloom. Alright. Find out that cults activity on Kimagata. Alright, let's, 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 let's go ahead and uh, level him. Uh, we're going to play into that. And then, what do we got down here? Psyker gains and scrubs soul ability. It costs no AP, but deals direct damage to the Psyker equal to 25% of the Psyker's back Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't see much point in that unless my stuff starts doing a lot more damage. Okay, we're just going to go Psyker 2 on him. So, da -da 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 -da. let's go willpower. And then, what's he got down here in the bottom? Kind of the same thing. Can we do a sucker? Any slow three. Still mind. Let's go ahead and add some more range. Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and save this here. And... Move out. There's a tunnel there. There's a box. Oh, it's locked. Tech use. This exploratory is blessed with multifunctionality. Alright. Give this away. Uh, servitors. Corrupted servitors. This isn't good. 
isn't good. Alright, collect on. Free an ancient, the holy to to console intended for the use of people not in, not trained in the mysteries of administering the machines first. The country is completely silent, but this approach is it's worth emanating from the metallic casing. A telltale sign the machine is working. You discovered the local data crypt with contents collected by the previous operators of the machines for yourself. Using your access, you study the archive stored in this container. The vast data repositories contain millions of strings related to receiving raw materials for processing, shipping, processed metals, and schedules. For sacred rituals to be formed over the machines coming off the production line. The Manifortorium once operated like a gargantuan wall of machine. The last record was from two months ago. Oh. Cartridge panels, dozens of beakers, buttons, handles, switches, and other control mechanisms. Need a lock. Data crypt. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and view the first log. Praise be the Omnissiah, whose might and power transforms dead metal into power to make manifest the holy visions of the machine god. The Imperial cause received this synod from the fabricator since it had been executed. Despite those who shuddered at the thought of changing a standard procedure and bold in their hearts, those whose inner weakness breeds error in personal calculations for the fabricator sensor is the conductor of the higher will and the wisest among us. Today the Supreme Assembly of the Fabricator Center unsealed the vaults of the sacred designs and committed those deemed redundant or heretic heretical to purifying disposal. Today dozens of standard procedures were lost to replace by new ones, which the Fabricator Center will deliver to those who demonstrated the greatest devotion in serving the truth. But the databanks contain no notion of truth. That there have been may the all knowing one, the gracious keeper, forgive me, an error in the Fabricator Center's calculations, and he meant to say serving the quest for knowledge. Okay. Ah, seceded. Your knowledge that machine spirits is sufficient to trick the system and subdue it to your will. A false query, crafty manipulation of the controls, and you get what you want. The instrumental terminals have already been replaced, and the material delivery systems have been preparing for divine transformation. The execution of the new procedure has been delayed, for there has been some in the ranks who doubt the words of the fabricator sensor and his potarius. And there are some who are not susceptible to the enhancement protocol that carries our tech comrades to enlightenment. May the livers of, of fate be merciful to them. In action is death, and I must be turning to our great work. Praise be to the truth that will reveal the path of the knowledge shrouded in the darkness. Okay, that didn't didn't really help me a whole lot, I don't think. But okay, I mean, that's fine. Alright, let's see. Over here. Uh, Alright, whatever. Oh, athletics. Oh, Abelard, go. I guess he can't make it. Is that. I say he fails. He just, uh, he just doesn't do anything. Makes me think that it makes me think that it's just bugged. Like he, he looks like he's stuck. Like he can't. Like he, like he wants to go, but it won't, it won't, it won't do it. All right. Either way, <coughs> it doesn't say you failed. Uh oh. What's this? Alright. The launch protruding from the tech priest's bedraggled red robe hints at the mechanism playing its body. You see a haggard and sickly face under the archaic respirator augment. I I a click, a clank, and barely audible hiss, and then the tech priest boxes finishes his word identification. Request denied. Pascal turns to you as visor gleaming Clemson. Registering anomalous behavior within the service organics and an invalid new spear response. This unit is compromised. You carefully study the rogue clad figure, a black border of necrosis sped around the tech priest implants. For some reason, his body is rejected in the true flesh. A moment later, you recognize the dominant smell of in the bouquet of scents permeating around the air of the tech priest. Since you're rotten meat. Megos Customs of the Machine Sanctum Tier 2.0 Identification. 
Denied. The regulation demands execution of Protocol 3942 in accordance with the fabricator censor's decree. Anticipated process interrupted. Execution of disposal protocol recommended. Take Priest Strauss's weapon, and as his robe opens, your sense are hit with a fitted wave of rod. Oh. I'll make an oh. example out of you! Okay. I'll turn you into corpse starch. Alright, so how do we want to do this? I think we put Let's see, we're gonna put Cassia here. We're gonna put Argenta here. And then we're going to put Here. No, Argenta. No, don't move Argenta. Argenta goes right here. And then. Malachi's gonna go here. He's gonna go over here. Abelard. Gonna go right there. And then we're going to put. Pascal. Here. Okay, let's put Avalar. Avalar right here. Alright. Start the battle. Okay, Cassie goes first. So this looks like the best spot for that. <laughs> what do we got here? Not a servitor. And this. Oh, no. Isn't this a job for the serfs? We're gonna give that to I'm Argenta. not accustomed to being ordered around. And we're going to let her start Isn't this doing a job some work. For the serfs? We'll let her start doing some work here. Okay, so. Faith without deeds is <laughs> Huh, didn't do anything to that one. I'll do it. that here me if you insist lord captain the bad thing is it did kind of spread them out a bit which is kind of unfortunate but I did get some extra damage on them so that kind of If I may, don't do it. All right, that's Argenta's turn. How do we want to do this? Running gun. Rejoice in battle. Running gun. Oh, I meant to run again there. Okay, never mind. This is why I was chosen. All right. That is for the weak. Oh, wow, they explode. Wow. Okay. I am his will made manifest. Alright. 
As the Emperor commands. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute here. Faith without deeds. If I, you, get, my I think I get ten shots here, but I don't know. This is why I was chosen. As the they Emperor exploded commands. Kill each other. Cool. My Emperor. Doubt is for the weak. This is why I was chosen. I'll do it. For you, my emperor. Faith without deeds is this is why I was chosen. As the emperor commands. Uh, how many more shots do I get? I don't know. I kept count. That's it. Alright. So Malachi goes next. How do we want to play this, I wonder? Who goes next here? Corrupted. This one goes next. I will see to it personally. Then we're gonna give him this, I think. Oh wait, oh wait, this was just an this was just an extra attack. It wasn't like his full attack. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Ow. Ow. Okay, now is this actual attack? On it. It's as good as done. Yeah. Who, if not me? All right, so what do we want to do with him here? He has three attacks. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. Uh, we're going to endure. Okay. That's all he can do. Let's well, have a large turn. He can charge him from here. Let's uh, let's do some other things first here, though. So we're going to go ahead and try. Someone else oh. can do this. I guess we can walk out here, can't we? Then we're going to a tactically sound approach. For impact. Sworn enemy. It will be done. And do this. Charge him. Then we get one more attack. Indeed. Good, 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 good. All right, we should be able to take this one down before the next his next combat. Probably the other one too, to be honest with you. I didn't think he would get, I didn't think he got to move there. Throne take you. What? What was that? Huh. 
Oh, how did he deal damage there? Uh oh, God. that's not what I want to do at all. really works to be honest with you. The scriptural process is favorable. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Alright, so Cassia. If we just drop in. If you insist, Lord Cal another third. I think, that's our, I think that's what we do there. Can she hit him from here? Let's see. Yeah, we can. We can do that. Two attacks. Doubt is for the weak. She missed a lot of them. <laughs> that's okay. Do not dare ask. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Uh, we can really do that. All right. As the Emperor commands, I act. Why did they hit so many times for zero there? That's what I want to know. I don't know that I understand why it happens. Faith without deeds is worth I don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand how it does a zero damage, how I hit so much damage there. Before it did zero there. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm a mentor. But. I'll make it happen. I won't object to it. Be gone. Alright. So there's our combat. First combat. Alright, crack grenade. Ooh. Ah, he hit me with an axe at him. That's how, that's why I damaged him. He has bleeding on him. Okay, so let's see here. How do we get this? We can't get back over here? There's no way to get this thing to come back down. There's got to be a way to get it to come back down. Always keep your eye on the price. All right. You just save there, right? I'll we'll save now. Alright, there it went right now. Okay, cool. It's gonna say that one's gonna be annoying if you couldn't get it right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Huh. There's a thing there. Can't get to it. I'm still new to the art of exploring. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. 
Never doubt me. I don't do like the way that it pauses whenever you see a trap though. Can't really get to these, can you? I'm assuming you have to run this way. Let's see the timing here. Can we get up here? I'm not around that way to get up here. Okay, when these go this time, we're going to take a run for it. Brace yourself, that hurt. Avalon. Stop. There. The Emperor favors me today. Well, that's all right. Vengeance will be swift. So many things that it shows that you can see, but you can't, you can't get there. I always keep my options open. Small, heavily augmented man in filthy, tattered robe stands before you. As you approach, he has an look at you. Your eyes fill with horror. A portable inscriber on the keyboard hangs from traps at this front. You can see his detached cerebral cogitator peeking from out from under his hood. Dece Mechanicus, the tech priest decides to take a better look at you after which he lets out a ragged breath and vanishes to be a shaking. He heard my prayers. I thought I was alone in the kingdom of Madison Depravity. Please save me. Tell us who you are and what happened to you. I am Manaportum Lex I am Manafort <laughs> Manufactorum. Lex Mechanic Zeta 86. I performed the rituals for the machine spirits of Foundry 95 up until we started going mad. The priests devoted to on this island suddenly started praising the dawn or something of the other. They stopped the belts when they desecrated the visages of the sacred machine and the holy symbols. Some of them resisted, the others grabbed them, tied them up, and then and then they turned their implants to heresy. I saw the madman, a former tech conference, deliberately connect those poor souls to corrupted cogitators. I watched as they were infected with the scrap code and did nothing to stop them. I am recording a violation of the commandment of thine own forge, be true as sentinel, apostate Zeta 86. Your access is hereby revoked. Proceed with your report. How did you manage to avoid the same? I, I didn't avoid it. I, they performed the same procedure on me. I felt the touch of an holy code. I allowed it to control me. I abandoned my sacred post and followed one of the traitors, serving his will until I gathered all the data on his blasphemous experiments. I was driven by an unholy impulse coming from the depths of my observing top shaker with a coated lash itself. Before I found a way to throw off the compulsion, I witnessed horrifying heresy, the extraction of two f true flesh, and its decomposition on altars. Perverse procedures that resulted in heretic, heretechnical abominations. I even accompanied a fallen Magos to the fabricator censor himself and attended the unholy mass healer personally. It was a wicked ritual, full of willful deviations and blatant inaccuracies, all to create ungodly monsters in the name of the final dawn. Praise the gifts of the Messiah. I managed to disconnect my external cogitator, which I use for primary which I use for primary data processing. The machine is corrupted. The scrap code is locked inside it, like a beast in a cage, but anyone who tries to look inside will fall victim to a heretical program. My primitive brain has been marked by corruption. I still see their silhouettes, hear their interferences. I sense the malfunction in my documents. But I was still saved from the great sacrifice. Oh blessed are the workings of homicide as benediction benediction that shelters the weak from evil. Henry extends his ever so slightly and likes the mechanics work. You see his hand casually stray the handle of his weapon, but the interrogators know in a hurry to act. No, no, not these constructs that are melted down in furnaces and sent to the death of the Manafort Victorium. It is some kind of semblance of the cogitator, a nightmarish parody of sacred machine, powered not by the omnicized grace, but by the unholy spirit and life force of the unfortunate imprisoned in lower levels. I don't know much, except the fabricator sensors saw that machine is special. It was special to him and the crazy suit of fight the omnicized abode with their obscene blasphemy. For the final ritual, he even called upon the one of the Astarnes heretics 
who arrived in a man at a manufacturing at the start uprising. He did something, something terrible, and only after they, that they were able to switch the machine on. It was a true abomination, even standing near is unbearable. I believe that even those who have been deprived of the omnipotent grace still feel this influence of him, this monstrous power utilized for the holy computations and chaotic calculations. Whatever that cogitator may spew out of the end of his cycle, no righteous soul should accept the heinous offering. Like the grace of the Omnisai had left them entirely, replacing free thought and progress with the blackest corruption. I witnessed them just desecrating structures blessed by the fabricator of century himself. Though what do the blessings of that rotten traitor count for now? Like men possessed, they stood upon the sacred instruments and assembled shells and notes that didn't match any diagram or blueprint I'd ever seen. Sacrilege. Mission someone. Play servants to the main units. They lived in the isolated segments under the sacred mission halls. I heard they were locked in there after the takeover. Then my crazed brethren changed the system for deposing of slag waste and covered the machines in cursed symbols and like some cases. After they started the cogitator, they dragged me, the survivors out into the segments under the machine halls. Well, what the survivors had turned into. You demonstrate exceptional, exceptional powers of observation and recall for someone who just happened to survive. I am a Lex mechanic. Gathering data is the purpose of my existence. And that's even what they used me for. He trails off the belatedly understanding the subtext to the interrogator's words. They used me against my will. The scrap code turns everyone into the slave. Before I read myself to the cogitator, I was forced to serve alongside those who perpetrated those atrocities and witnessed their obscenities. Servant of the Omnissiah, I must know more about the final dawn, the fabricator sensor, his mass, and about the machine as well. I could give you coordinates, but even though I was present for many blasphemous blasphemies committed by those heretics, all the details that were captured and processed by my true flesh are in the augment that was corrupted by the script code. I am convinced that if I hadn't fought off the foreign compulsion in time, I would have been doomed. The corruption would have spread to my biological to my biological cogitator as well. The Westcom Hay taps the finger in the device hanging from his ear for several wires. I swear that no devout tech priest should come into contact with what's hidden in the most sacred device. Heinrich's expression shifts as he stares intently at the disconnected implant and still in connect intact connectors protruding from under the less contained color. Corner of his ma mouth twitches involuntarily. Abelard notices the look on Heinrich's face, and once he does, he sighs heavily and looks away. Can the cogitator? Spinach shakes his head in approach. Even if the very idea of exposing the whole machine to scrap code is only profane in itself, the augments are not universally compatible. They cannot be connected to a machine spirit. They were created to interact within, within the system of my true flesh. To generate my compulsor unit to output data via the inscriber. Once I am safe, I swear that I will immediately perform the cleansing rite and destroy. In other words, there is only one way to extract the data stored in the cogitator. No, don't do that. Lex mechanic could have been privy to the conversation of the battle in the investigating cult. We need the contents of that cogitator. Lex mechanic, who is listening to your discussion and puzzlement, finally understands what's going to happen to him and he begins to back away up here. No, anything but that, I'll die. It'll be worse than that. I'll succumb to the corruption. I'm begging you, please. I'd rather be burned as a heretic than have the scrap code in my biological cogitator. At these words, Heinrich pauses for a fraction of a second, almost as if he's reconsidering. If failing to offer any resistance against the enemy's omnisciah unit, say that B6 lost the grace of the machine rank and is recategorized as a resource of the manufactorium. The defilement and torment of that resource committed to advance struggle against heresy will not be deemed as a apostate, apostasy or mal malefaction against the living soul. Upon expiry of the unit's utility, disposal is recommended. Heinrich, stop. The leaders of the cult would never discuss any of the words in front of witnesses. Leave the poor man alone. We need to know what the, where the cogitator is. Even if the heretics conversation is unimportant, we must know where the machine is so valuable to them. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you can't run in your racket clothes that produces a scrap of parchment. Different augmentic is responsible for my muscle memory. It has a data logger. It has data storage too. I remember where I walked and what I pressed with my fingers. Here, here are the coordinates and the code. It's probably the code to the bay. Heinrich's eyes bore into the smaller man's at last, having reached some clue he turns you. He is a subject of your world, Malachi. It is for you to set his fate. Who's taking the ship? I mean, you know, it's like... He kind of... His mechanic is given the shuttle coordinates and hurried away. Heinrich's request him to go and lose you. Excessive kindness, Malachi. Gets good people into trouble. Let's hope that the corruption only affected the disconnected augment and not his soul. Come on, we need to get the fun scotchitator. Yeah, I mean, you know. Alright, let's see. I gotta walk back through those. Ugh. 
Alright, thank you. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Ten ballistic skill and twenty-five. I mean that looks pretty good. What does she have on? Yeah. Plus agility bonus, agility bonus divided by two, bonus damage to the ranged attack. I think this is better. I think. Because I can make her crit every single time. I wish there was another way through here besides this stupid... Here, doesn't seem to be a good path through it's taking a lot of damage. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to take a little bit of damage, I think. I don't think there's any way to not take some damage there. I don't like that either. I don't like I don't like all these things that I can't get to. I feel like there should be a way to. I mean, I, I'm sure there is a way to get to these, but all right, we're gonna head is back down. I guess. To be made? More goods. to the top or get left in the dust. See there's stuff up here. Alright. Anyway, I think this is probably a good stopping point right here. Um, you know, we had a good fight. Took a lot of... <laughs> I hate taking... I hate taking injuries from, like, stuff like this. It's ridiculous. But, anyway. Appreciate you joining us, and we'll see you next time.